Now it's time to get to the meat and potatoes of this banner, which is the text. So we'll grab the text tool from the toolbox by double clicking it and the text tool options window will pop up. This is where you choose font, font size, font color, all that good stuff. You can choose pretty much any font that's on your computer by clicking the font next to the word font. I like to start with a font size of about 80 or 85 pixels high for a banner like this and it doesn't matter if it's perfect because we can adjust it later. Then we'll choose the font color by picking the color that's next to the word color. For mine, I'm going to choose a light color because I have a dark colored background. So I want something that's kind of gray or light gray. And I want a blue toned light gray, so I'll click the blue section of that vertical rainbow bar. And then I'll choose a very light gray color from the bottom of the big square. And then just click OK. And yeah, we're pretty much set, so now I can start typing on my banner. I'll just hide that real quick. Just click on your banner. And a little box will appear on your banner, and then the GIMP text editor window will pop up. Now you're actually typing in the GIMP text editor window. So if you need to move your cursor around, move it around in the GIMP text editor window, not on the banner. But as you type, text in the color, font, and size that you chose will appear on your banner. Now mine wasn't lined up exactly when I clicked on the banner, so that's easy to fix. We just move the, uh, the text frame just like we moved the crop area before. Move your mouse to the middle of the text frame and when it turns into a four-sided arrow, click and drag to move it. And if you need to resize the text frame, you can do that as well. You can see mine's a little bit too short and the end got cut off. You would do that the exact same way that you resized the crop tool. But I'm actually just gonna make my font smaller. So to do that, I'll double click the font tool icon in the toolbox again to bring back the tool options window. And then I'll just decrease the size. And as I do that, you can see that the size of the font actually gets smaller. And by playing around with these adjustments, I can make this fit exactly the way I want it to fit on my banner. Another cool trick you can do is adjust the space in between letters. And you do that by using this little space option here. I'm going to use a negative setting and that will make my letters more squished together and it'll fit in this black space that's on my banner better. I don't want the words to overlap with the, uh, the chain on my picture too much because it'll be too distracting, it'll be harder to read. So I just kind of want it to move and adjust and adjust the size and make sure that everything fits exactly the way that I want it to fit so that you can easily read Dainty Chain on the banner. Because really this is the most important part. You can just move back and forth, adjusting the font size, adjusting its position. If you ever lose the tool options window, meaning it gets hidden behind another window, or you minimize it and you can't find it, just double click the text tool icon in the toolbox again, and it will magically reappear. If you ever lose the toolbox, meaning it gets hidden behind the window, you minimize it, you can't find it for whatever reason, hold control B on your keyboard. That's control and B as in boy on your keyboard, and it will magically reappear. Now I've got this pretty much the way I want it, and I want to get rid of these little yellow lines and boxes around everything so I can see this more clearly. So I'm just going to choose a different tool, it doesn't matter which tool from the toolbox, to get rid of the text frame box. I chose the crop tool, doesn't really matter though. Then I'll go to View, Show Layer Boundary, 
and uncheck that box and ta-da, that little dotted yellow line that's been driving me crazy goes away.